when when you're silent and you don't have a way to express yourself and really be yourself and all you're doing is silently consuming content and you don't meet a real person like every like week or every two weeks that long period of time where you're on when you're unable to just fully be yourself in public you're taking many many steps towards what you're consuming okay there's word of boiling in the background so hopefully it's not too loud but i just wanted to share a realization last night i was reading and, and watching some anime as well as bojack horseman this sort of tv show about this depressed sort of horse uh, who's the main character everyone's running from something sugar no i'm i'm running from nothing i'm terrified of nothing and i want to be that person that they think i am but i'm not they see a greatness in me and they mistake it for goodness but i i know there's nothing there as fast as i run i can't get away from that and all of a sudden i find myself subconsciously wanting to be like the villains in these characters where they're sort of egotistically strong and they literally get what they want and then i'm like maybe i should step up and, and become the man and, and sort of start treating people like it and then getting what i want and that's the downside of watching and consuming content all of a sudden you're no longer you all of a sudden you're starting to want to emulate someone that you've seen and this is crazy like this is just a fictional like animated content the effects are probably even worse when you sort of watch like things like Breaking Bad and all of a sudden you think what the main character Walter White does is correct and you start emulating him because you want to go from this sort of school teacher that no one respects to this badass. You clearly don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try to cut off a lot more content and be more sort of aware that as I watch these things, it's going to linger in my mind for the next 24 to 48 hours. And in those 24 to 48 hours, I'm not going to be fully myself. Like now I'm filming this video, I'm sort of now more self, like I'm, I'm sort of trying to pull myself out of it. And I'm trying to be as much authentic to myself as I can. And when you're silent and you don't have a way to express yourself and really be yourself and all you're doing is silently consuming content and you don't meet a real person like every like week or every two weeks that long period of time where you're on when you're unable to just fully be yourself in public you're taking many many steps towards what you're consuming content really has this residual effect and I do find myself thinking about it and it does take up a bit too much brain power there's sort of these second order consequences being the first order of consequence is me losing time and watching that content obviously i'm, I'm relaxing and then it's enjoyable but then the second order consequence is it sort of sits in your mind for the next 24 to 48 hours and that's something people don't realize when they consume content um obviously you can just freaking just consume content all the time and then it, it, your mind's a blur and, and you can't remember anything that's okay too i guess that's a solution um, I'm Andy Mai, I'm the founder of Studying. We have an education platform and I'm just here to document my journey um, and just share everything with you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow with nothing but more about it. Peace.